Hi, I'm John Ota from Zenata Consulting. This is a tutorial on setting up and creating 1099 reports in Zoho Books. If you find this video useful, please consider liking and subscribing below. Thank you and enjoy. Starting off, we'll need to go ahead and select the vendor that we need to add the 1099s to. Uh, first off, you'll need to go ahead and ask them to send you a W-9. This will include their uh, full information as well as their address on their tax return, and it will provide you with their identification number. So going to the right side here, we'll click on the edit button. We're going to select track 1099 payments, and from there, we'll need to figure out what their tax ID is based off of the W-9 provided. Uh, it may be an EIN or an SSN if it's an individual, EIN would be for business, or if they're an international individual, they may have an I-10. Once you have that number, you will select what they are and go ahead and add that in. So for here, we will enter in a social security number for this example. Uh, once that's been saved, you'll need to go to the left side here under reporting Scroll down to the tax module and select the 1099 report. From here, we are able to select the reporting year and whether you'll be filing a 1099 MISC or a 1099 NEC. For this video, I've provided an example for both the 1099 MISC and the 1099 NEC, NEC meaning non-employee compensation. Starting off, we will go over how to do the 1099 MISC. So from here, you'll need to start off by choosing the accounts that you want to create the report for. A 1099 MISC can be used to generate uh, reports for a multitude of different types of incomes. Those can be found here in the drop-down box. If you want to see the thresholds for filing these different types of incomes, you can go ahead on the right here and go to the view box threshold table. This will take you to a report and let you know what the minimum threshold is for each type of income. Going back to the report here, for example, I created a vendor called Landlord and we will be paying them rents. If you have any vendors that have multiple types of uh, incomes that you're going to be giving them a 1099 for, you can select additional rules to create those. So if we wanted to do royalties um, and added a royalty account, we could do that. Uh, for this example, I just went with the rent amount. I went ahead and created a landlord vendor with uh, rents that have been paid. So as you can see, when we generate the report, you'll see the vendor name, the box that you're generating the report for, as well as the total amount of payments that you've made towards this vendor. If you go ahead and click on this, you'll see a further breakdown of each payment that you've been uh, you've made and whether or not it was a uh, bill payment or just an expense that you've categorized. These show up as match categorizations from your bank fee. And if you have any unmatched 1099 transactions, they will show up here. So those are those that are in your uh, bank fee that may have not been matched and categorized in your bank feed yet. So we'll go ahead and show those here. If there's any payments that should not be included in this. So say uh, you had some repairs that you split with the vendor and you didn't put it to repairs and expense and you kept it under the rent expense. You can exclude that from the 1099. Uh, these things would be reimbursements and, and other kind of expenses that are not part of a rent expense paid to the vendor in this example. Uh, as you can see on the top here, we have the tax ID, the name of the company, uh, and the address. Uh, these are important because these will show up on the 1099 that is generated from this report. If we go back, we'll go ahead and we'll do an example of a 1099 non-employee compensation. So we'll go ahead and select the 1099 NEC. In this case, I created a vendor called Smith Consulting. They have a consultant expense that we paid, and we're going to pay this to the box one non-employee compensation. Box two and four are other boxes that may show up, but most commonly you will be paying your uh, non-employee compensation, 1099 employees, this box one amount here. In order to add the new expense account to the box one non-employee compensation, we're going to go ahead and add a new rule. Select the commissions account. Go ahead and select box one and generate the report. As you can see here, you have Smith Consulting, box one non-employee compensation, and the total amounts here. If we were to click on this again, 
it'll take us into the breakdown report. You'll see in this case, Smith Consulting is a social security number that they provided on their W-9, the person's name, since it is an individual, as well as a email and their address. From here, you can see that we have both commissions and consultant expense going into the total here. If there was some reimbursements that were made to this vendor and it was placed under the consultant expense, you again can exclude that from the 1099 by clicking on the exclude from 1099 box here. Once you have generated these reports, there is a couple ways that you can go ahead and file the 1099s. If you come to the settings here and scroll down to integrations and marketplace, they do have two companies that they integrate with directly to file 1099s. That is uh, tax1099.com and yearly. In order to learn more about these integrations, you can go ahead and click on the learn more button here. You will need to set up an account with either of these companies in order to file those 1099s directly through that integration. If you do not want to use these companies, you're not out of luck. You can simply go to those reports again and print a copy for your CPA if they help you or bookkeeper if they help you um, generate those reports. Or you can also use an export in order to upload this information into another 1099 tax filing software. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the notification bell to let you know when our new videos are released. If you have any questions or feedback, please leave those in the comments below. We really appreciate that. See you in our next video.